first, it was like open season. Like, I don't think I ever knocked on anyone's door. You just announce yourself. You'd say, hello. You never did back in the day. You did not. No, did you, Lorna? No. Like, you know, hello. <laughs> hello. So my mother used to answer the phone. Hello. Anyway. Um, okay. I'm standing on a rug today because there's something about this rug and you have to find it on the website. I am. I think this rug is very beautiful. Really? It has all the things I love. The roses and the moose but you're gonna have to go on the website and find out about it because there's something there's something it's on the gallery page of the website so there's a and it's yes it's it's yeah it's not a mistake so go on and find out about that so go on the website today i just decided that this minute that i'm gonna send you there over that road <laughs> but it's cozy it feels nice feels nice on your toes and it will hang beautifully somewhere. It's going to find a home anyway. So you have to go on to the gallery page if you want to know more about it. It's called the moose and, and floating roses, I think. All right. I'm going to leave it on the floor because it just looks really good. Doesn't it? I was thinking that. Like it looks so great. Like it's really beautiful. Anyway. All right. So that's my story today. And that's it. No, that's not it. I'm going to, like, okay, I got to tell you, I got to be honest with you. I feel like I've been working on this. <laughs> I feel like I've been working on this since 1972. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. But it's got to be finished this week. So I have transferred it from our little live stage here <laughs> to come in with me into my little studio. So if you want to talk to me today, you got to come in here. All right. So. This rug, it's beautiful. I love it, but I got to finish it because I've got something else on my mind. I know what I want to do for the next few weeks on the lives. Did I just tell you that? Or did I, did I just think I told you that Angela, what I want to do for the next few weeks on the lives? Uh, you didn't tell me. Well, I'm going to put a new piece of linen on here. And I think what I want to do is I want to design some new kits. So I want to come up with some new designs and try and see if it's possible to come up with maybe one or two new kits for the spring. And that maybe Ruth has really been working hard on getting us some new wholesalers and, and stores are asking us for uh, kits that are a little bigger so that we can, I ordered some nice boxes to see if we can package them nicely. And that next week when people come to the live, that maybe we could design and play with some new kid ideas. Oh, that's a great idea. Wouldn't that be fun for That'd the live really for a couple fun. of weeks? Because I feel like, I feel like there's like, it's just time to do something different. I love this and it's gonna probably end up in my living room or on my day bed, but we have been working on it a long time. And you know me, I like to, I like to complete things. There's something about finishing things and getting her done that just makes me happy. You think someone's going to answer the phone, Angela? Angela's got that look on her face. Is anyone going to answer the phone? Who's getting the phone? I warned before I come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I know sometimes it's hard to get a customer. And you're, you you know, got a customer. You don't, don't want to be rude to the or, customer. Or you're in the bathroom yeah. or you're downstairs yeah. and the phone is upstairs. I mean, it's just, yeah. It happens. It happens. But just keep calling because we are yeah. here. We are at the end of the line. Okay. We did show your new case behind you, right? I don't Very think we ever day. showed it on the live. I don't remember. But I did a little vi video off it, and, uh, but I should show my little case. Hey. I can so remember. So John made it, it for me. I was going, I wanted a card catalog, you know, and I couldn't find one. I went to my nephew's house and he had a card catalog in his house. I said, Aaron, I love that. He said, I found it in a garage and put off there. <laughs> oh, great. And some guy, some guy gave it to him. So, so I've got Mary wrote the letters because she just writes so nice. Mary Williams, who works here. I know I should have done it myself, but I could never make them look like that. But, but then you always have a little she bit of Mary. Yeah, I know. I and she it. taught grade two. Yeah. Like I shouldn't be expected to compete with that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all my dark greens. Like there's all my mossy greens. There's all my creams. Oh, I should bring those out and add them in the back of that. Yeah, get some different colors. Don't you find that when you're making a background? So this is a beautiful, and it's on wheels, right? And I can lift out my boxes. 
So if I want to work on my light blues, I can just bring my light blue over here to this table. He also made the top of that table. He's really does a nice job. So it reminds me of the card catalog at the library. It does, doesn't it? That's really. what I thought you were going to say. Aaron got his at maybe the the. the uh, newspaper office or something oh right? no no he got it some, in the garage. some guy some guy in, in a garage gave it to him so i'm gonna add some cloth in here now it's just you know it is a good idea if you're working on a background and you're feeling like oh gosh i'm just hooking white 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 it's you know you're feeling a little oh i can't say i ever really get bored with rug hooking but i never do but sometimes I get tired of the same color and you can always like if you're working on a background like this, you can always go and just get something else like another layer of color just to change it up a little bit. And just like even adding this cloth here now is really soft and pretty and it's just making me feel OK. Yeah, something something unique. I always let's do a corner because people say, well, how do you do the corners? Well, it's so easy. You just go over. And when you get to the corner, just maybe hook a little bit tighter. And then you're going to turn. You're going to turn your wool just like that. It's not too hard, really. It's pretty simple. There's, it's not much different, but you just want to get your wool in really tight on the corners. Kush has gone away for the weekend. And <coughs> Daryl is down packing the wool box, so it's going to get shipped on Monday. It's just a day late this month going out. Probably be Tuesday. Cause probably, Monday, oh, Monday, Monday is a holiday, holiday, so it'll probably be Tuesday, yeah. Not for us. UPS, Not for us. UPS goes on Monday. Oh, do UPS okay. is going on Monday? Oh, okay. so we're good. Okay. Right? Terry's been out for a little bit. She'll be back soon, we hope. Angela's been out front doing a lot of customer orders and helping helping out. And what else has been going on here, Angela? This is a leaf. Lorna is in the is Easter, I guess, holiday oh, spirit. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Lorna is in the <laughs> Lorna is in the spirit. Lorna is in the spirit. What did people win this week? You had prizes. I had prizes. So the first day, Angela won a calendar you can burn outside, like yeah, in uh, candle. Candle. Sorry. A candle. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, a candle. Uh, really you know, nice. for outside. Yeah uh igor won an easter spatula in a little easter glass container uh yesterday ruth won the cutest napkins they were so sweet <laughs> i know and then today i have the last prize today oh How no you one's won. you have to find the egg and where like you just hide the egg somewhere in the studio yeah yeah uh, and then so in Mansour's, i hid them over there too. did you were Mansour's yeah. excited about the prizes the I, I i just bought them bunnies Oh, you just, just bought there's no bunnies. sense yeah, in yeah, yeah. yeah i know because it would never get home out of there it would just well either they probably wouldn't appreciate you know yeah napkins yeah <laughs> their yeah. wives might but they, yeah you know. i feel mm -hmm. like igor didn't really get the easter spatula probably not no but i told him like, i said igor make pancakes with daniel yeah right. oh yeah that's true that's cute yeah that's a good idea that's what i was thinking yeah because he loved the pancakes that the recipe i gave him oh did he yeah oh yeah. okay oh Pancakes sound good. Maybe that would be something to do Easter weekend. I'm make I'm cooking an Easter dinner. Um, I'm doing a ham and having gonna have some fun on maybe Monday. I think this is the way it's working out for us. And got some family coming, so I'm kind of happy and excited about that. My cousin is coming to visit. I got to turn this over, you guys. Okay, Donny Fitz. Donny Fitz. No, he's Donnie coming. Fitz. Yeah, he is actually. Oh. Yeah, he's coming on Monday. Yeah. And it's Family, some of his family, not all of them. I've really never met Donnie Fitz. I just know Donnie Fitz. <laughs> Donnie Fitz, yeah, I know. It's funny how you like it's like Terry Cole. We always say like her yeah. last name. We never go by. Yeah. When I was a kid, people called me Deanne Fitz a lot. Like that was just the way, and not like you have to say my last name to know who I was. Yeah. Not like I was Joe. You know, you have to say Joe Mac or. <sighs> Tell me something. What? You were growing up, did you ever have pork buns? Pork buns? No, my mother never. Like pork buns are just biscuits, right? I didn't know what they were. I wasn't They're really like sure. buns, but they use pork fat instead of uh, for the lard in them. So you would use like you know how uh, people make ginger snaps with bacon fat. Did you ever have those? No. Yeah, people do. Like that was kind of a traditional. So they use the thing. pork fat. They use the I pork fat. Sure how you I think that's fat. what pork buns were. Uh, pork just, fat. You just render thing. it like you know when you buy fat back in the store, like yeah. for fish and brews. You fry it and it just makes a fat. Oh. Angela's turning up her nose. 
I don't know. It just seems, no, to, be, I remember it seems my, to be like a Newfoundland my, thing. That's why I'm just curious what yeah. they were. I think that's what they are, but correct me, Newfoundlanders out there, if I'm wrong, because I, I, I could be. Because my grandmother used to get pork fat and cut it into cubes. Yes, that's right. And that's what it looks it like. with onions and butter and mackerel. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then pour cream over it. Oh, it's probably delicious. It was delicious. Yeah, it's probably delicious. Yeah. Yeah, pork fat is a real thing, like frying pork fat um, in Newfoundland and probably on the South Shore. Yep. I wonder if it's a thing in Norwegian cooking. I wonder. I never. Like your, your. They're more fish, but not. So you much don't fish. know about the pork fat there. Yeah. I wondered that. Cause it has very distinctive foods too, doesn't it? A lot of smoked stuff maybe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like for breakfast. Um, when I was there, we would have, um, fish called flounder. Yeah. And seed bread. And about 55 different types of cheese. Oh, yeah. Not bad, though. Which is great. That sounds great the to coffee me. coffee that would knock yeah. your socks off. Yeah. Well, you can handle that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they'd have, like, the big meal early afternoon. Like, boiled fish and oh. potatoes. And then at night at around 6 o'clock, cakes and cookies and cakes and cookies. Oh, I think I gained good. 10 pounds when I was there. I love the cakes and cookie thing. <laughs> Um, what do you, how do you think people, are people still liking the new coffee maker? We bought a coffee maker. Oh my God. Right. It seems to be. Oh yeah. It's a steady flow. Yeah. It's a steady <laughs> flow, isn't it? Yeah. I know. We bought a fancy coffee maker so that everybody can make lattes if they want. You can make one yourself if you come. We don't know how to, I don't, I'm not really that good at it. I haven't used it too much. I'm still doing a pour over. Yeah, no, I'd have to say you are <laughs> great. Yeah. Yeah. You still learn how to make the tea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering, um, Kush, Angel said Kush tried to call, but she, remember she did the hook, hooking for her sister. Yes. Just wondering what her sister thought of it. Oh, I hope her sister yeah, liked she it. she tried to FaceTime me like two minutes before the live. Uh, oh, I did she? I don't know if that was a mistake or not. Probably a pocket dial. Yeah. I don't know. She's curious. Her sister liked Her day it. off, first day of her little vacation. Yeah. She was so excited about her run. <laughs> oh, it was sweet. She did a great job. She's giving it to her sister. It's a, it's a gift. Yeah. Oh. Good. All righty. Lorna, how's your rug going for your cottage? Well, it's at the cottage. <laughs> it's at the cottage, so. Once I get back down there. Is it done? No. I have, I, you know, I, I, I'd like to work at it when I'm at the cottage. You're going to work at, at the it cottage, there. Though. Come this minute when I get in the cottage. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to finish it this summer, though. You absolutely I'm are. I'm going to. You sit down there for a day, you can get it done. Oh my God, I could do it a whole day. Good Lord. <laughs> no, I know. I know. You're not that kind. No, I wish I and was. And a lot of people, a I lot of people don't hook like that. A lot of people hook, you know, <gasps> 10 minutes a day. It's going to come again soon, isn't it? We'll be doing it again this year. Get everybody registered for 10 minutes a day and we'll send out some great prizes. If I think I think I know what's happening with that, then I think the rug that is going to be used for that is wow. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be what, used yeah. for that or what are we going to do? I don't know. It's I think really so. Cool. It's really interesting. Yeah, our 10 minutes a day rug. Is that going to be the 10 minutes a day rug? Are we going to let that go a little earlier? I don't know. But we do need a special project for 10 minutes a day. It's kind of fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just so happy this is getting done. Look at this. Did the new person who came, the person who came, um, who's in the inspiration sessions, is she still out front? I'm not sure. I asked her to come on, but she was a little shy. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, no she says she to. watches the lives. Oh, good. She's going to try and get home in time to, to join us for the hook-in this afternoon. She's oh, like, right. We got the hook-in this afternoon. Yeah, she's from Kempville. Oh, great. She I... picked up a shed camp. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, she's going to be so happy. So remember, if you're a member of the Inspiration Sessions, we have a live Zoom this afternoon at 4 p.m. Atlantic Time. So just Google what is 4 p.m. Atlantic Time in your state or your province, and you will find out. And join us this afternoon. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a hook in. I'm probably going to be finishing this or maybe drawing something handy. Who knows? I don't know. I got a beautiful one on at home. I love, like, when, I'll tell you one thing. When you're hooking a background, and if you feel like it's going a bit slow, see, I did another background this week of trees, so I've been hooking background for 
a week steady, right? So if you're hooking background and you feel like it's going a bit slow, this is a little tip. Go and do all the edges, like, and don't do them in a straight line, but go over like this and, you know, so that it doesn't, doesn't look like you got a line around the edges, right? I'm, I don't want you to do that, but just go and do all the edges. And then you will find that you will find that it goes a lot faster. Like, cause if you're just, if the edges are done, it just kind of feels like your rug is done. I don't know why that is. It's not real and it's not uh, accurate, but it sure feels, I don't know, what would be the equivalent of that? I guess it's like eating all your vegetables first and then saving like the shrimp for the last, you know, or the thing that you really love. I really like shrimp. Um, But yeah, just go get all the edges done. So let's see, we got a few more edges here. I always feel like, and then it feels like, oh, what? I, I'm like nearly finished. Do you know what I mean? Can you see that, Lorna? I can see can that. Can you see the sense in that? Or do you think I'm just being foolish? No, it just makes sense to me. But don't go doing a straight line. Because if you do a straight line, it's going to look like it after it's all finished. Like, go like this. Do a few straight ones and then go in and around like that and then out. Angel, someone asked what seed bread is. Yeah, what's seed bread, Angel? Um, it was just, I don't actually, it was just like bread with a bunch of seeds. So it's probably like a flax, flax bread Kind of like something. a flax, yeah. It was a bit kind of a little dense, so it's a kind of a denser bread. I know we used to have it at La Haye Bakery when I worked there. Same idea. It's probably yeah. looks like a flax. Yeah. Okay, now we need a question of the day. You know what? We haven't asked for a long time. What are you reading? What are you reading that you're loving? That's the question of the day. What are you reading that you're really enjoying? That A recommended read. A recommended read. What is your, what are you reading that you're loving? Did you get your octopus book, Angela? Not yet, but it's on its way. Good. So apparently it's by the same, I got it from Octonation, but I think it's from the same, same woman who wrote um, the other octopus book that I read that was recommended here. Oh, which okay. I can't remember the name of it. Oh. Just about octopuses? Yeah. There's a novel on the bestseller list now about a woman who makes friends with a Pacific octopus that's in an aquarium. Like she just, it, I, I don't think, you know, it's not like she, she just visits the, the octopus a lot and it's on, it's a, it's on the bestseller list. The soul the of an octopus. That's what it was. That was the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of freaked me out. <laughs> They're interesting creatures. They're so smart, Lorna. I know. I just think of James Bond when it went on the guy's face. <laughs> oh. James Bond. James Bond. Could they actually do that? Uh, yeah, I've seen videos where if they like you, they'll they'll attach to you. Oh, God. They won't hurt you. I'd have a heart attack. They have tentacles, right? So. Oh, yes. Yeah. Heart attack. Heart attack. <laughs> okay. So the question of the day. Yeah, recommended read. So I just got a new cookbook and it's called Cooking with Confidence and it's by a chef in Moncton. And I came home one day and it was on the table. My husband had gone to the bookstore and bought me a book. And uh, that is my recommended book is Cooking with Confidence. What, you, what, what have you made? Anything interesting? I made a really delicious meal last night. I think it was called Beef and Eggplant Feta. And you made like a garlic sauce with yogurt and tahini, and then you fried the beef and the eggplant with a lot of spices. You would just hate it, Lorna. I don't even know that how sounds... stuff you're talking about. <laughs> and, and it was, oh, I thought about you when I was eating it because I knew you'd like it. Then you fried pine nuts. You're supposed to have pomegranate seeds, but I mean, I don't keep pomegranate in my fridge, really. Um, so I didn't have any, and fresh mint. And I only had a little tiny bit of fresh mint from my plant on the windowsill. And it, and, and roasted chickpeas. And it was excellent. And his name is Dennis, but I don't know his last name. 
but anyway, he's a he he was a musician and he toured. And I love cookbooks now because people tell you stories about the food and where they've been oh, yeah. and where they learn how to make it and stuff. So um, they're much more interesting now. Cookbooks they're they're very readable. So um, that is my recommended read. So yeah, and there's a big beef curry in there. And I was thinking about making that too yesterday, but there was, a, there's, it just made so much. So I got to have company to make that. I'm going to have to share that one. Donnie Fitz. Donnie Fitz. I know. I was thinking that too. He likes Indian food too. So. How do you know he likes Indian food if you've never met him? I don't know. She just, I said, just said it. She, she said it. She's not just me. guessing. Oh. She yeah. just said she need to have company, right? To, I need to have company lot. to make so that. Said, yeah. So she said, yeah, yeah, he likes Indian food. Oh, there you go. I don't, she said it was beef and whatever. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, beef curry. Indian that's Indian food. <laughs> yeah, that's Indian food. Yep. It's well, I don't know if the beef curry is actually Indian because I'm not sure about beef, but curry is for sure. I'd have to ask. We'd have to ask Kush to be sure. Okay. So all of those little pieces are done now, except for this little one down here. So all my edges are done. So it's going to come together really quick after this. And how are we doing for time? We've got minutes? 10 minutes. Oh, great. We've got lots of time. I've got some yarns to show you, of course. And these yarns I was actually hooking this week in, in my sky and my rocks at home. Look at that. So when you're hooking backgrounds, you want to make sure that you're, you you know, you're giving it a good mix that every little area, you can, you don't have to stick with one type of yarn just because you're in a small space. You can add something different or unique. There we go. This is silk right here. I'm going to take some more silk and put it over here. And sometimes I move around like just a little thin line of something and, uh, you know, just give them, give them, will give a shape, more shape to, you can, what I'm trying to say is this little thin line that's kind of rounded around this round beige berry makes the berry look more rounded. Wow. I can spit it out. Ah, there we go. I can say it if I just take my time and breathe. Look at it. Add a little gray in here. Okay, you got any plans for the weekend, anybody? I might come to work. Oh. Tomorrow. Yeah, how come? And Saturday and Sunday and Monday. Why? What's going on? <laughs> I love my husband more yeah. than anything. Yeah, but what's he doing on the weekend? Yeah. This morning I hear, <laughs> on. <gasps> oh, no, he got the cold. On. <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> oh, he's got the cold. <laughs> I love him, but oh my gosh, I can't. Yeah. He's I told so... him, well, yes, when you crack open that garage and get some fresh air. <laughs> Go out and sit in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> Get a little fresh air. Hey, here's a blanket. <laughs> Put on your snowsuit. <laughs> I'll bring you out a beer. <laughs> uh, so it's, yeah. It's oh, you be... got a man cold in your house. I've got yep. a cold. Okay. Well, what about you, Lorna? I don't know. It depends on the weather. Yeah, I'm going to have a bit of rain. I'm hoping to get down to build a couple walls, but who knows? Yeah. See, I don't have any plans this weekend. I'll probably come in here for a bit on Saturday. And yeah, probably do some good walk, get some good walks in, I hope. That's I got a rug I'm going to finish at home. I'm going to make a carrot cake, maybe. Look at that. Isn't this coming together nicely? And all of these, a lot of these colors look the same, but they are different. They, they are all slightly different from each other.
A lot of people ask how you work on a smaller piece on a frame, and I'm just noticing here. Yeah, this is how you do it. it. You string, use the strings, and this is chalk line, and I usually string it up. Oh, there we go. And if you look back in the videos, you'll see we, well, one day we actually did that from start to finish. Yeah, we did. Um, we might do it again sometime. It's not like you get to do it once and it's done. You got to do it over and over every time. All right. This now is a different material. Just got a little bit more creaminess to it. So our bags are still available on the website. Um, the inspiration sessions are going in full swing. I am in the process of making aprils, just getting ready, uh, getting it started. And um, I'm just so pleased. We've got lots of new members. And this afternoon is our Zoom session. That The inspiration session itself is the video that I send each month, right? Um, but the Zoom session is when we just get together and have a visit. And I always leave that session feeling quite uplifted. And I think you do, Angela, too, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I always feel like, oh, I'll go home. And I always feel like I'm ready to enjoy my evening. And uh, just I feel really happy, inspired, I guess. Okay, so when you come back next week, this will be off the frame and we'll be working on something different. Um, I am loving, though, how the white, like, I just, just watch. You got this nice silky cream here and then you put the white next to it. And, oh, it's just so beautiful. Now let's put some gray next to that and give it a little shape. More gray over here. This morning I was I walked out the rink because it's pouring out. And I had my little dress on. I was all dressed up walking up there. And I was listening to a song, and I was listening to "Leaving on a Jet." Uh, no, no, not "Leaving on a Jet Plane." Big old jet airliner by Steve Miller, and you know, it's like when you listen to these songs, they're way more meaningful than it than they sound. You know, like one of the lines was, "Because um, these guys are, you know, they're amazing writers, right?" And one of the lines was. Um, Big old jet airliner, uh, airliner, don't carry me too far away. Um, and I always think about that, about being grounded, you know, like you get on that big old jet airliner and you can just get carried away from what's important and what you love, and, right? And then the other thing was, uh, the other line after that was, uh, don't let, I, something like, don't let me get uh, uh carried away uh, don't let me get all caught don't let me get caught up with all that uh, funky stuff going down in the city like you know like don't get carried too carried away from who you really are uh stick to your you know know your roots right and and you know i never really listened to that song and then after i heard that in the song and sort of was kind of interpreting it a bit you know it's not hard to interpret it's pretty clear but i never heard never really listened to it before then I did three rounds and just listened to that song over and over again. And I still couldn't quote it for you. That's what my memory's like. But I just found it so um, beautiful uh, to like when, when we're walking up, because I only listen to music when I'm, when I'm walking at the rink, because it's, you know, it's just a track, right? But when we're, the, all, of the, all of those beautiful singers were poets too whoever wrote those songs and i i know the steve miller band did write their own music 
because one of the Matt Englewood songs that I love is written by the Steve Miller band. Um, but I just thought, and that, so that was sort of what I'm carrying with me today about, you know, staying true to what's important uh, to you and staying like close to, uh, you know, I don't mean physically close to home, like go where you want and live where you want and all that. But I just mean like staying true to your roots. And I was thinking about, it was interesting because before I listened to that song, I was thinking about advice and what's the advice that like, I was at a party at Christmas and one of the questions was what was the best advice you've ever been given? And I'm not asking you that today because I think it's a really big question for our lives, but I think it's a really good question for us to sort of ask ourselves, like what's some of the best advice that we've been given that helps us sort of stay centered with or maybe maybe that for me that's what good advice is advice about staying centered and staying close to what's important but for you it might be something different you know anyway that's the longer I hook that's what happens like if I keep hooking and hooking then I find my mind gets thinking about bigger things and gets me thinking about life Oh, we're almost done, folks. We're almost done. So I'll finish this this afternoon, probably. And um, Angela's going to update our free beginner course, aren't you, Angela? You're going to yep. put a new video up. So if you have the, our free beginner course on our website, um, you can just go on and purchase it if you haven't got it. But if you have got it, uh, we just did a new studio tour yesterday. I took some rugs off the frame and we up, we updated it. And I think we're going to update the framing rugs course maybe next week or the week after. I, yeah. In the next few weeks, we're going to we're going to do some new framing uh, and some new thoughts and ideas. And that new video will be up this afternoon. Oh, you're going to put that up this afternoon. So it's, yeah, it's it, yeah. I wasn't thinking it was up yet, but yeah, it's going up soon. So if she doesn't get to it this afternoon, don't hold it against her. I won't either, but she's going to try. And um, so, yeah, we're kind of updating some of our courses, our, uh, some of our free courses, and, and we'd updated, of course, the neutrals, uh, the hooking in neutral, we'd updated that for, for this particular seed pods that we're working on now. Look at that. We are almost done. So I'm going to leave you here now with this. Oh, I'll show you the wools for today. And put down your recommended books. Uh, I always go on and read the comments, especially when I ask recommended books. I always do. I don't read. I don't read. Um, sometimes I miss some of the ones that come on later, but I try to try to try to read most of them. That is looking really good. I have to decide on the color for this, and I was thinking of this, but I don't think that's going to work. I might put more of that over here. Anyway, we'll this see. This background is linen, right? Uh, this is linen. Yeah, I'm working on linen. All righty. Okay. So don't forget, um, check out what's going on with the Moose and the Roses rug. There's something going on online with that. You want to check that out. And this is really a beautiful collection of yarn. I have been using this one and this one. So my sky that I'm working on, I'm using Color Flare. And this is a new yarn. It is... 95% mule sling, mule sing free virgin wool and 5% acrylic. So there's a little tiny bit of acrylic in this, but look at the colors. So this is flare. And if we dig into flare, you're going to see a lot here. Isn't that an Easter color? There's, this is like, we should call this Easter bonnet, but I don't know what it's called. Do you know, Ange? Yep. They're right on the bottom of the tag. Hmm. No, underneath the bark. Spring. Yeah. Oh, it is called spring. And this one is called Beach, and Angela's put them with a cloth. So if you look under our wool cloth, there, or this is some of our European wool cloth, and this is one of our hand-dyed shades. And this is called Marble, gray marble. And this is called, this is the color Ocean. And I was using it for sky, but it is perfect. And this soft blue is really beautiful, as is the gold. So these are four new colors that we have uh, on um, 
on the website for you and four new yarns. And I can tell you, one of the things I really like about these is that it's almost like a slubby. It goes, it's kind of like a light slubby. It goes thick and thin. Um, if I could, oh, there we go. See, starts off rather thin, comes out and goes in again. So it is a beautiful yarn and uh, I recommend it because I am using it myself. I love it. Very happy with it. And I don't know that we have a ton of it, but I think we have six or eight of each of them out there. So that's it for this week. And when you share rug hooking, you just never know what you're sharing with people. So be sure to share, uh, uh, be sure to share it because you might be sharing community, friendship, tradition, you know, different people need different things. And when you've got something um, that you already know is great, why wouldn't you share it? So I know this is a great thing. So I'm sharing it with you. And I thank you for being here today and for watching. And come back next week. We're gonna do we're gonna do some we're gonna have some new rugs on the frame for sure. Some new, maybe some possible kit designs. I'm just not sure. I gotta figure it out. <laughs>